All right, we just saw the line to get in the National, which is crazy. I just did a video on that. So let's take a quick walk around the National, see what it's like on a Friday. We're not even at Saturday yet. So this is the right side when you enter more of the old school dealers there'll be pockets where it's crazy busy right here it's a little looser you can see over that way fairly full value boxes getting crushed the national itself to do an actual walk around would take well over an hour of course if you've been to a national you know if you haven't i'm sure you've seen videos but until you're actually here experiencing the scope and size it's kind of hard to fathom So you get a pocket that opens up and it's not too bad. You can kind of get some air, maybe look at some neat stuff. But the whole right side of the show would be a big, huge show in its own. And there's an entire other side. Both areas have some corporate and dealers. I'll take the... Over on this side, you're gonna have a lot of the auction houses. You got Heritage up there. You've got eBay set up, Panini, Tops. On the other side, you'll have CGC, SGC, and the Breakers Pavilion. eBay's done some giveaways and such, very large presence. Dave and Adams and all the big wax dealers were kind of together blow out in the distance Steel City always a lot of traffic around the wax upper deck
mean, I'll have the wrapper then. I'll hook it. Golden. Rapper Redemption's at Upper Deck. Not um, not the same in any way, shape, or form as Tops. They're having all sorts of little rip battles and stuff. We are, we're also in a major area. Still doing the uh, Rapper Redemptions. I don't know if they still have... With how small it is, it makes me think baseball might be done. It looks like they're doing football, all football there, so baseball might be done till tomorrow. You have a huge area with tons of table space to sit down. You've got uh, food trucks and food stands. And again, I'm speed walking it and clearly skipped large sections of it and you've got a whole nother side of the show just wanted to do a quick walkthrough to give you an idea of course you see clips of cards all across YouTube and so many recap videos and people using clips these lines for food are really low as the day goes on they'll just get bigger and bigger Wesker Griff and those back pages. Yep. Here's uh, part two. This is what I call the bright side. It is incredibly bright and completely packed with both dealers and collectors at the show. A lot of buying and selling. It's kind of the back corner, then it morphs into more corporate. That would be insane. Got BCW. Tag. Tags, uh, the big thing they're doing are custom cards in slabs that, uh, Looks pretty awesome. Wouldn't mind getting that done. Some auction houses, some of the lesser known authenticators, CGC, sports card investor over there, my guys at SGC. Be doing a submission with them tomorrow. Case break pavilion. What that is Mag pros. I mean, there's definitely some cool uh, products to see back here. The Breakers Pavilion is something that I'll usually do like one walkthrough, just kind of check it out, but it's not really my thing. Huge uh, presence by Whatnot as well. Card Collector 2 with the big corporate setup over here with a lot of merch. Incredibly popular with the kids. Backyard breaks as well. Which again, just not my area in the show. But clearly popular. Autographs. Tristar. Some of the lines forming. People getting stuff authenticated.
All right, we get out of there and you're back to the show. The autograph section here to the right and just tons of show space. The lines for autographs are crazy. I'm sure the signers get bigger and bigger. I would expect Saturday to be even bigger for signers. So all this madness to the right are people waiting for autographs for various Hall of Famers or fan favorites of different areas. And then again, back to the show. You've got jerseys, you got your Ultra Pro products, and of course cards mixed all in. How easy it'll be to navigate, I guess we'll find out. Sounds like Emmett Smith about to sign shortly. So throughout the day, there'll be different waves. Some people thin out a little bit for lunch. Some people ditch early. I would say yesterday, the last hour of the show was pretty calm, but early on, it's nuts. You got autographs. Sorry. Here you go. Here's a nice open wide aisle so you feel like you can breathe for a moment. get to an edge with some tables and become standstill traffic. As you can see, just uh, complete madness. We've done basically a loop around the majority of the show. Split in between a little bit. Once you get to the corners and edges, you get a little more space. But I mean, there's so many tables in here. Absolutely so much to see. But I wanted to give you a quick Less than 15 minute look at the 2024 National. Again, day three, it's Friday. I would suspect things will be even busier Saturday than usually Sunday. If you're just looking for a good calm day, that's really the day where you get that. It's not a flying smoke. You see him? And as you can see, people continue continue to file in to the show hopefully you enjoyed it let me know down below and i will talk to you next time have a great one